Welcome to another gorgeous day here at Mills Motors, located at 240 Bond Street East in Oshawa. Today we're having a look at the 2016 Verano Sedan Leather, shown here in the gorgeous Ebony Twilight Metallic. And under the hood you'll find a 2.4 liter 4 cylinder SIDI dock engine with 6 speed automatic transmission. Taking a look at the inside of the vehicle now, the upholstery is all leather. And down here are the controls for the eight-way power adjustable driver's seat, including lumbar. Moving to the driver's side door now, there is plenty of storage along the bottom there, as well as these premium Bose speakers, which do allow for the best sound quality when listening to your music. Of course, there's this beautiful wood grain trim. And just behind that are some controls that include window locks, power windows. Moving up from there are the power lock and unlock and power mirrors. Taking a step inside the vehicle now. To start the vehicle, it is simply push start ignition. So hold that and press the brake and the vehicle will turn on for you. So moving back over here, the controls down here are for the exterior lights. On the left side of the steering wheel are the cruise control options. And behind this are the indicators. Moving to the right side of the steering wheel are the stereo controls and hands-free communication and behind there are the wipers. Now moving to the center console. This is the this main vehicle is in demonstration. The main home screen with plenty of options. There is a navigation system which will allow you to pinpoint your location or a destination you would like to get to, as well as this vehicle is equipped with AM, FM and XM radio. There are also many ways of connecting a mobile device, um, such as uh, USB auxiliary Bluetooth, um, moving down from there, there are some controls, so the button for traction control, turning your hazards on and off, and the trunk release. Down from there are the controls for the screen above and for the stereo system. So this dial up above will turn the stereo system on and off and control the volume. The one just below that will help you navigate through the menu. These buttons to the side, so this home button will get you to this main screen with all the options on it. Below that, the source button will help you switch between AM, FM, XM radios and any um, mobile device connections you may have. And below that is the navigation system, so that will bring up the map on the, um, the color screen above, so uh, again to help you pinpoint a location. Moving below that there is a CD player, and then the temperature controls. So this vehicle is equipped with uh, dual climate zones. So using these two dials here, this one controlling the driver temperature, this one controlling the passenger temperature. I can show you up here on the screen. So I can have the driver temperature set to 16 and the passenger temperature set to 22, which just makes for a more comfortable drive for both the driver and the passenger. As well as you can see on this dial here, the uh, steering wheel is heated. As well, this button in the center will control the fan speed. Uh, there's the front window defrost, rear window defrost, as well the driver and passenger seats are heated, which is very handy in these cold Canadian winters. Moving down from there, there is a small amount of storage back here, as well as an auxiliary power outlet. Moving in between the seats now, there is a small amount of storage right there, as well as the power parking brake. Behind that are two cup holders, and then we get to the center armrest. Uh, so with this center armrest, if you would like it to extend a little bit, simply press the button located under here and pull it forward. Or if you do need uh, some storage space, simply press the same button and lift up and there's some storage space in there for you, as well as a USB port and an auxiliary input. Moving directly up from there, there is this beautiful power tilt and sliding sunroof, which allows... Uh, for some fresh air to enter if you'd like, or just some sunlight. However, if it is a little too sunny, pull this shade across and it will block out the sun for you. However, it is such a gorgeous day, so I am gonna keep it open. That sunroof is controlled by uh, these two buttons here, which are directly above. And moving down from there, there are three uh, garage door openers, which you can set to uh, um, be in sync with the garage you have at home, so you can open your uh, your garage door as you're pulling into the driveway. As well, this vehicle is equipped with OnStar, which you can see through this button at the bottom of the rear view mirror, and OnStar can help you in any situation you may find yourself in. Moving to the passenger side of the vehicle now, there is of course a glove box located right here with tons of storage in there for you. As well, on the passenger side door, you have those 
premium Bose speakers, some storage space. Just above that is this beautiful wood grain trim, which leads to the power lock and unlock. And behind here are the power window controls. Have a look at those gorgeous 18 inch aluminum wheels with a silver sterling finish as we make our way to the back of the vehicle now. Lined along the back of the vehicle are ultrasonic parking sensors, which is very handy when you're trying to back the vehicle into some of those tighter spaces. Another feature that helps with this parking is the uh, color backup camera, which is located just down here. So this does display its picture on the screen inside the vehicle. And again, this is very handy when backing up into some tighter spaces. So to open this trunk, there is a trunk release button in uh, on the inside of the vehicle. As well, you can use the uh, trunk release button on the key fob. So simply make sure the car is unlocked and press and hold this button and the trunk will open for you. As you can see, this trunk does have plenty of space in it for you to store some uh, many items. As well, there are hooks on the left and right hand side of the trunk, which makes attaching a net or rope pretty easy uh, to keep things in place back here. Nothing shifting around too much. So to close this trunk up, there is a handle located on the right side, which you simply pull down on and the trunk will close nice and easy. Taking a look at the rear passenger side door now, there is plenty of storage along the bottom there, as well as this beautiful wood grain trim and the power window controls. Taking a step inside the back seat, there is plenty of storage space behind both the passenger seat and the driver's seat. As well as behind the center console, there is an auxiliary power outlet, which is quite handy if you want to charge some mobile devices you may have back here. As well, just below that, there is a small storage space, which you can uh, possibly store some smaller items that you may have uh, laying about back here. Turning around, you can see that this back seat does fit three people quite comfortably. However, if no one is taking up that center seat, simply pull down on this handle and down comes the center folding armrest, which of course has two cup holders uh, for the use of the people in the back seat, which makes for a very comfortable and convenient ride for them. What a fantastic vehicle, both inside and out, and it does just keep getting better as this vehicle is equipped with the safety and connectivity of OnStar, as well as this vehicle does have its very own 4G LTE hotspot, which means you can connect your mobile devices to Wi-Fi while in the vehicle, which makes some of those longer journeys seem just a little bit shorter. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, this is the 2016 Verano sedan leather, and it's shown here in the beautiful ebony twilight metallic. And under the hood, you'll find a 2.4 liter four cylinder SIDI dock engine with six speed automatic transmission. If you would like to test drive this vehicle, we are located at 240 Bond Street East in Oshawa, and we would be very happy to show you that we will do whatever it takes.